Juan, do you do you remember growing up watching um, Middle East soccer tournaments, the conference tournaments in September? And if so, does that make this more exciting for you, knowing what's kind of coming? Yes, um, it definitely makes it more exciting. Um, you know, each and every year. Yeah, just when I was a kid, um, just watching March Madness and uh, yeah, just sitting on the couch, just just taking it all in and and uh, you know just just hoping I could be on on the stage one day and um, you know. So it makes it super exciting, and um, you know, just, just just ready for it. Who was your squad? Um, I didn't I didn't really have a college team growing up. Yeah, I, I just watched it just for entertainment. You've had a couple of good matchups with Matt Coleman. Uh, just talk about uh, those matchups and um, what's different about facing him. Um, he's a great guard. Um, you know, he he's quick, fast. Um, he can put pressure on defense. So. You know, just try to uh, keep him in front, um, contain him. Um, we have to control, um, do well on pick and roll defense. Um, they do that a lot. So just um, just contain, to, uh, contain what they do and um, not let them get uh, super comfortable. You mentioned the pick and roll defense. What are some of the keys of defending those actions from them? Uh, just knowing where, you know, their big guys are at all times. Um, you know, they they can they have the ability to throw the lob at any time. So. Just being aware of where they're at, and um, just just taking just taking in, in uh, you know, to mind that you know there's there's some lives that can be thrown, so just just um, just limiting that. Do you feel like you guys did a good job of defending that the first two times? Yeah, I feel like we did a pretty good job. Um, uh, first time, second time, um, you know they they got some open threes and uh, they knocked down some shots, so um, you know we just have to improve on that. How does uh, having David more involved kind of help you defensively against a team like Texas that plays big? Right. Um, I think it helps a lot. You know, um, you know, they're too big. It kind of gave us some trouble in the second game um, when we were playing four guards. So, I mean, just more bi um, just bigger bodies out there. Um, so, we can, you know, do a great job of containing them and, you know, just, just let them, just not let them do what they want to do. So what you, you talk about that hit you took on Saturday? And is that the hardest you've ever been hit? And mm -hmm. did, did you know you were okay? It looks like you were fuzzy for a while. Oh, yeah, I was I was I was fuzzy for like a split second, but you know I got it back. Um, you know, it said a hot ball screen, and you know I didn't really see it, and I just ran into it. But uh, it wasn't the hardest hit I took. Uh, I've taken taken some more some hard hits than that uh, growing up. So, what about yeah. the season? This season probably was well, the hardest hit uh, I've I've gotten hit. With your work with Hootie, mm -hmm. how has it changed from like this time of the season mm -hmm. from let's say October? Um, I like uh, in terms of what we do. Yeah, like just to be able to get through the Big Twelve season to get ready for postseason. All right. Like, how does what what does the work look like with, in in the weight room? Um, I would say it's pretty much the same to what we're doing now than what the beginning of the season. Um, one thing I would say we're just we're stretching our bodies more just um, <clears throat> try to be try to have more recovery in, here and there but you know for the most part you know she really she really hits it in there and you know uh, yeah, it makes us get after it in the, in the weight room coach said anybody in this league can make a run it's just about who plays the best three nights or three games in a row what do you guys have to do to make sure that's you how do you how do you play your best three in a row? Right, I feel like um, first, you know, we have to be locked in, you know, each and every game, uh, you know, coming into the Big 12 tournament, you know, um, you know, we have to like make the other team uh, play worse than us. So, you know, not only be comfortable, you know, be turned up every possession um, and just making, you know, just the smarter plays and really just, just having that, you know, stand that, uh, you know, that we can stop this team and, uh, we can beat any team on each um, any given night. So just just having that mindset. All right, Devon. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Devon. Thanks, Devon.